Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry and today I'm joined by my colleague Mackenzie Mills, the content writer here at the company. Today, Mackenzie will be showing us the keyboard shortcuts in Global Mapper. All right, Mac, show us those shortcuts. So today we're talking about keyboard shortcuts in Global Mapper, and like many programs, Global Mapper does support keyboard shortcuts. So there are some common keyboard shortcuts as well as the opportunity to create custom keyboard shortcuts. You'll see many of them listed in the menus next to the you know, function that they enable. Control S, for example, is a really common keyboard shortcut to save a file. In Global Mapper, it saves your workspace. F1 opens the Global Mapper help file, the in-app help, which contains a lot of information about all the different tools and settings in the program, as well as a list of all of the built-in keyboard shortcuts. So you can access this easily to you know, learn and reference those keyboard shortcuts that are relevant to your workflow. Now I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut here, Control U to unload my data. This is one that I use every day to bring me back to just a blank Global Mapper instance. Control O then op allows me to easily open a new file and load that data. I'll then enable the digitizer to select an edit features with Alt D and then click on a vector feature to select it. Next, I can use a custom keyboard shortcut that I've set up to zoom to the selected feature that I have and then hit Escape to deselect all features. I'll turn on another layer in this workspace from the Control Center, zoom in, and again with the digitizer, just select a line feature and a specific vertex. Here I'll use another custom keyboard shortcut I have set up to delete the selected vertex, and I can select additional vertices here and delete them as well. On the flip side, I also have a keyboard shortcut set up to insert a vertex. So enabling that option, I can insert a vertex, adding vertices to this feature, you know, reshaping it further. The way to set up these custom keyboard shortcuts is from the favorites toolbar. So from the favorites toolbar drop down menu here, um, I'll choose to set up shortcut keys. And this opens a new dialogue in Global Mapper where we can see the shortcut keys that I have currently set up. So insert a vertex, delete a vertex, and zoom to a selected feature. Below that is where we can add more shortcuts. So from this list, this extensive drop-down list here, we have a lot of functions in Global Mapper related to creating new data, you know, creating features with the digitizer, editing features, um, you know, performing some calculations, searching, exporting, um, LiDAR classification, both manual classification and automatic classification. Um, there's options for you know, creating a path profile, zooming to a specific feature or scale. Scrolling back up to the top of this list, I'm going to create a new keyboard shortcut here to create contours and open up that tool. Selecting that function from this drop down, I'll choose to use the comma key to uh, assign to this new keyboard shortcut, and then I'll apply an optional modifier to the shortcut as well, the control key. So control comma will now open the contour generation dialog. Adding that shortcut to the list, closing the dialog, and then enabling a terrain layer to create some contours from, I can use that shortcut control comma to open the contour generation options. And if I'm satisfied with these default settings, I don't need to even use the you know, interact with that dialog. I can just click enter or hit enter on my keyboard to execute that operation. And I've just created contours for this layer in Global Mapper. And then Global Mapper 23 does support undo and redo functions. So the classic control Z shortcut undoes the last operation that you've executed in Global Mapper and then control Y for redo, um, you know, brings those contour lines right back. Mackenzie, thank you so much for showing us the keyboard shortcuts in Global Mapper. To learn more about Global Mapper and Global Mapper Pro, please visit bluemarblegeo.com. And as always, we hope that you'll join us for our next episode of Ask the Experts.